Hi there, I'm Mike. And before we get into yet another clone video on my channel, we're gonna take a look at these three. I got these a couple days ago from Amazon and I am ready to crack them open. Let's take a look. So here we have the Gaming Greats 3-pack from Jedi Fallen Order in the box. As you can see here, we have a second sister, we have a Cal Kestis, and then we have our third Purge Trooper, the Electro Hammer Purge Trooper. On the side here, we have all three there. On the back, there's nothing so much to read. It just has their names and then their names in a more different language. And there's nothing on this side because it's just the side of the box. I gotta say, I can't actually remember the last time we got a three pack in this line. That's like three figures. I guess it would be the Force Ghost three pack, but even then, like Yoda's barely a figure. This is three full ass figures. So <laughs> let's open them up, take a look at them. And specifically my goal with this isn't so much to review it, uh, although this is probably the newest figure in here, I've taken a look at other Purge Troopers and the Second Sister in older videos. If you want to go take a look at those, they are there. But uh, the Cal Kestis, I specifically want to take a look at and compare him to his first appearance and then also to the appearance of other Inquisitors in the line. Uh, so I don't, I don't know if this is going to work. I've never done this with three before, but uh, let's see. Oh, uh, uh, let's try that again. Uh, before I put this away, you know, a fun, interesting thing about the box is that this plastic piece right here is actually attached to the box. Usually it's a clamshell that just goes over the tray, but uh, it's, it's, it's not interesting, but it is a fact about it that I felt compelled to talk about for some reason. So here we have the three figures out of the package. The uh, second sister, Inquisitor, Cal Kestis, and then the Hammer Time Purge Trooper. What I wanna do is let's just start and go left to right here. So let's get these out of the way and look at the Purge, or the, the Inquisitor. Wow, I'm really good at word talking. And of course we have to bring in her original figure. Now there's actually three of these but I'm not, oh, come on. Now there's actually three of these. One of them is the uh, carbonized version and I'm, I'm not going to pull that down off my wall and open it up just to show you. It's not relevant to this. <laughs> if the carbonized version is your version of this figure on your shelf, just know that she's a little bit shinier and a little bit more gray, but otherwise she's the same figure. Now this is how I have this one displayed on my shelf. Again, if you wanna know more about her, I have done a full extensive review on this figure. Uh, she does have an alternate way you can display her with just these shoulder pads because the cape kind of retracts up into it. So this is a kind of a rubber molded cape that's red on the inside and black on the outside. And then it does have the Imperial logo, which is a little bit more game accurate. This cape right here, and th this does seem to be the main difference, is that it has a soft goods cape. The logos are there, but I feel like it doesn't drape as well because this is molded. But this does look like it's coming off of her body, whereas this looks like it's more, you know, hanging appropriately. So that's maybe that's what it would look like in real life to have these Imperial logos just on sort of the back of her arms. Uh, it is sort of a thin material, but it is black on the outside and red on the inside. So that is at least, you know, they didn't skimp out. It's like they just have a black cloth coming down and uh, and that's it. You know, that it's the right color and it still has the Imperial logos. I was a little worried that it was that it wouldn't. And honestly, I, I never really displayed her with just the shoulder pads because I like the look of the cape. The helmet is exactly the same. This one I feel is a little shinier. I feel like the paint 
is pretty much the same. Like everything's the same. It's it's not different here. The, the main difference is this cloth cape. Although there is one other difference and that is the color of her blades. Now she is she was the first inquisitor we got in the black series and the first to have this sort of double bladed uh chakram you know like lightsaber thing that the inquisitors have. It's the same lightsaber, same paint. Uh, a lot of times on these repaints, they kind of skimp on the paint, but it seems like they really did want to do, uh, kind of go out of their way. Maybe not out of their way, but they wanted to at least meet the exact same. But the big difference here is the color of the blade is a lot more saturated, a lot brighter, whereas this is a little bit more of a darker kind of crimson. So maybe you like this more than this. Maybe you like this more than this. I don't know which one I like. This one kind of looks like candy to me, whereas this one, I think on the shelf is gonna like pop out a little bit better and, and maybe be something, I think, I think I prefer this one, although maybe the bottom one would be a little bit more accurate. I have my second sister on display with my other Inquisitors, not with my Jedi Fallen Order figures because I feel like now that we've had more Inquisitors on display. They belong together. Like, why would I have the second sister in a completely different spot? The only thing I wish she had, and what would have really justified this purchase for me a little bit more, is uh, an unhelmeted head, either as her main head or uh, as an alternate accessory that you can swap out or a removable helmet with a head sculpt underneath. Uh, because that was something that was missing. Obviously, when this came out, the second sister came out before the game even came out. So we didn't know anything about her when we first got the second sister. Now that the game's been out for years, and uh, we even got a second game in the series, although she's not in it, I do wish that we got a figure that showed off that side of her, because she did remove her helmet a lot. There was an actor that portrayed her. It would make sense to have that. Although, you know, I get why Hasbro didn't. They're making a three pack, but you know, it, it is something I would prefer. I would have preferred an unmasked head to the masked one if I could give Hasbro any feedback on this. Other than that, I mean, the differences are minor. It's the soft goods cape and, and that's it. And, and the color of the lightsaber. Uh, and maybe the shine. I do, I do think the, the helmet and the boots are shinier. So if you like that, if you like them looking a little, little bit more polished, then uh, then I think the new one is what you wanna go for. Next, let's move into a figure that I have to do a lot of comparisons for, and that is the Inquisitor, Cal Kestis. Exactly what is different here? Is it the same figure? Is it a figure we've already, obviously it's not the same figure as what we had, but like how different is it? Obviously, uh, I don't know why I'm saying obviously a lot. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a comfort word. But we have the original Cal Kestis here. And then we have the gaming greats Cal Kestis here. Because when the first Cal Kestis came out, gaming greats wasn't a thing yet. Uh, so he was just part of the main line. And then they released this as deluxe. It came with a lot of extra stuff including a double-sided lightsaber. I've done a video on him, but I wanted to take a look at the face. And the sculpt does look the same, but you know what doesn't look the same is this one has, I don't know if they're painted or sculpted, but I feel like this one has like scars on his lips. Like there's a, I feel like he's got a little thing up here and down here. And I don't know if maybe that's just mine or if they're supposed to come like that, but my original one definitely doesn't have that, whereas this one does. Other than that, these are the exact same sculpt. I think this one just, they wanted to they wanted to look like he was a little beat up for some reason. Now, other than the head, the other Cal Kestis does not share a body at all with this one. But what I wanted to do was take a look at these two Inquisitors right here to see what they shared. I expected them to be full repaints and right off the bat, I could tell you there's nothing on the third or the fifth brother here. And I'm super glad about that because I hate these big old clodhopper boots of his. They're the worst, but it does look like 
we share a lot on the Grand Inquisitor, which I think is nice. And that's actually a figure I haven't done on my channel before. I've never done a video on the Grand Inquisitor. This is from Obi-Wan. Um, it looks like from the waist down, or at least the legs, the legs and the shoes, the, the, the lower knees and the legs, they're all the same. These little side pieces are different. This one kind of curves out a little bit more where these are straight up. And that's not the same as this one either on the fifth brother. The arms are new and the arms also are not the same as the fifth brother. So arms are completely new. There's no reuse on the arms. Uh, the chest is new and it even looks like the torso under the chest is new because there's no, there's a lot more sculpting here than there is here. So really, the only thing that they share are the legs, and even the legs are a little different. And I thought that there would be a lot of pieces on, on this figure that would share. And there's nothing, not, again, not even the, uh, the torso is the same. Everything is different. So I'm very surprised. And we haven't gotten a third male Inquisitor in the line. Every, everything else, fourth, fourth sister, third sister, second sister... Uh, they are all completely different and they don't really share anything either. So that's kind of cool, despite the fact that you would think Hasbro would cheap out and reuse a lot of parts on here. They really didn't. They, they reused the legs, but again, I don't really blame them for that. I'm just making sure all the sculpting on the paint on the pants are the same and and they are. So again, that's I mean, that's really fine. I'm not mad about that because they, they really don't need to reinvent the wheel on some parts. I'm okay when they share things like legs and things like arms, but the arms on this are new. Arms, torso are new. The head is reused from the old one, but at least on mine, it, it's at least a little different with the, uh, the beat up. <laughs> I mean, it looks like he got into a fight. Again, I don't know if that's just mine or if that is uh, how it looks for everyone's. But that's kind of cool. Now he does come with his double bladed lightsaber. It's the same vibrant red that's on the one from the second sister. The lightsaber itself is the same as the one that came with the uh, the deluxe version. The sculpting is the same, and that makes sense because he would be using the same lightsaber because uh, he would just you know bleed the crystals and make them red. So that makes sense for him to have that. Uh, you know what? I think that this is actually. A really cool figure. I didn't expect there to be so much new. He does have butterfly joints. His arms move up at a pretty good angle. Uh, the knees are as deep as you really want them to be. Let's try to get this into a kind of a cool pose here. I gotta say, I actually like it. I don't know if it's worth the whole price of a three pack to get it, but we'll discuss that after we've discussed the final figure, which we're gonna move on to. And that is the Electro Hammer Purge Trooper. Now, this is the third Purge Trooper we've had in the line. The first one being the regular vanilla Purge Trooper, which came out in 2019. I believe he was, he was a GameStop exclusive. I got him from, I believe, Papa Gord in Canada. I, I'm pretty sure at least in, it was intended for this Purge Trooper to be exclusive to GameStop and only available if you pre-ordered like the deluxe or collector's edition of the game. And all that let you do was be able to purchase this. Like you couldn't purchase it unless you also purchased the deluxe game. So it didn't come with the deluxe game. The del getting the deluxe game just let you purchase it. But I think a lot of GameStops didn't, they weren't clear on that and they were just selling it. Uh, I never saw it in any of my GameStops, but to be honest, I didn't look. And then one of the very first Gaming Greats figures that ever came out in the Gaming Greats subline was the Electro Staff uh, Purge Trooper. I do have the second little electro electric thing, but it keeps falling off and I hate it. I'm just going to say I don't like this figure. I like it in the sense that I want Purge Troopers in my collection, but the one we got with Obi-Wan <laughs> in the Obi-Wan show was way better because that one was based on the newer figures, whereas this is based on the phase one 
clone trooper body. Now, if you've watched my last few reviews, I've gone over a lot of clone troopers. So you would know what that means if you've watched those. If you don't, basically this mold came out in 2014 and it's just very limited in its articulation. Uh, you see this bend right here. That's as far as that bend can go, which he's, he's just very hindered in how far he can bend both his, uh, his, his arms. He doesn't have butterfly joints because that was before. Uh, the legs move decently, but they're kind of rubbery and gummy. And the proportions, in my opinion, are weird. I got to say, I, I've never been a fan of this helmet. Uh, I know it's, it's accurate to the game. It's what he looked like. But um, and I think it's it's like an airborne helmet or something. I, I just don't like the helmet. I don't like the look of it. I don't think it's a it's just it's not a I know it, it's meant to look fearsome and kind of scary. Uh, difference wise on here, his color is different. Um, he's kind of white and I think what is this like a like a turquoise, maybe like a blue green. I'm colorblind if you haven't told like this is red. His Imperial logo is red. He has a red pauldron. His is, it's either gray or aquamarine. And this one is black. Like all, his Imperial logo is, is red, but all, all of his stuff is kind of a dark, dark gray or black, uh, which is visually to me uninteresting. At least this one kind of sticks out, which I like even the little accents on his helmet. And then this is what he comes with. This is the electro hammer. This was a tough battle in the game if you weren't, really good at dodging and parrying because this thing hits real hard, especially if you have it on a harder difficulty. Without the electric effect on it, it, it looks more like a blade. Like this doesn't look like a hammer. You know, it just kind of looks, it looks like a weird staff with a, with a blade, like a halberd, I guess. I'm guessing he holds it by the back part because this part has blue on it. I'm assuming that's kind of charged up. So I want to put it in both hands. I will say, unlike the Electro Staff, I think the Electro Staff is way too big. Like, look at this thing. It's huge. It's way too big. It, it should be like 20% smaller at least. Whereas I think that the hammer is a really good size. I really do. I just wish it came with some kind of effect on it. Currently, I display these guys on my shelf on the small one of the small shelves under my Jabba's display. If you've watched my room tour that I recently did, you could probably figure out where that is in my room. So this is going to go on display. But that being said, I don't love it. So this is the uh, three pack, the, the three pack that's Amazon exclusive. Uh, it was $69. Uh, and I guess the question is, do I think it's worth it? Well. Monetarily speaking, three figures from the Black Series at a retail price would be $75. So, I mean, it's less than that, which is nice. But are the figures worth buying? I think to really get something out of this, you really got to want two out of the three figures at the very least. Obviously, wanting all three is a home run. But if you just want one... <laughs> I might suggest scouring eBay or like Mercari or Facebook market to see if someone's selling just the one that you want. Odds are there's someone out there selling just one, but it's tough to say. Um, I'm keeping all three of these. I'm replacing my second sister right here with the one I had on my shelf, which means the one on my shelf is going back in her box on uh, in the garage, uh, which, which is where I keep all my excess figures. I might sell it. Uh, I'll keep the carbonized version, so I'll still have a version of this. So I might sell mine, but not the one that came with this, because I do like that it comes with the soft goods cape. I like that a lot. I do wish that she came with an alternate head. With Cal Kestis, honestly, I think he's perfect. He's exactly what I wanted to be, and he is more than I thought he was going to be. Like everything there is good. Do I wish that he could store the lightsaber, but I feel like for this, it's a, that's a little, that's not gonna happen. And then the Purge Trooper, man, 
I just wish that they would put them on the new bodies. Like, I know if they did it with this one, it wouldn't match the other two. But honestly, I don't care. I just hate this body so much. It's so limiting. And if, as of right now, it's one of the very few figures I'm, I have on my shelf with the old body style. That being said, I do like the weapon and I like the paint scheme that he has. I think that the, the three pack as a total could be better in little ways. I'm going to give the pack as a whole probably a three and a half out of five. For what's really dragging it down for me is that the second sister isn't different enough, although it is different. It's different enough for me to justify it in my head with my own problems that I have and buying too many figures. But I wish it were more different to, so I could more easily justify it. And, and that Purge Trooper is really dragging it down for me. All three of these are going on my shelf, which is saying something. So it's not a bad review. It's not a bad pickup for me, but it could be better. At the same time, it's better than I initially expected it to be. And that's it. What, what do you think? Did you get this? Is there anything in here that you are missing that you're stoked about? Did you pass on it because it's just not your jam? Uh, let me know. I, I definitely think you have to like Jedi Fallen Order, obviously, to get this. Or maybe you're just collecting Inquisitors and you just want to put Inquisitors on your shelf. Cal Kestis is going on my Inquisitor section of my shelf. I don't think he's going to go with the main cast, but he's going to stand next to Maroc, uh, who's on also on my Inquisitor shelf, uh, because I, I feel like he does belong in that area, area for sure. But yeah, let me know what you think. I also want to thank these people here for supporting me on Patreon. Now, here's an announcement. My, and I'm going to make a bigger video on this in a bit, but my Patreon is closing. Uh, I just feel weird about it. I don't, I don't feel like I do enough other than these shout outs every video. Uh, and, you know, I haven't really been posting videos and it's like an extra thing I have to do. Uh, so I'm closing that and I'm beefing up my channel membership. And this video that you're currently watching has already been exclusive to my channel members for at least a day. So they got first crack at those first comments and, and whatnot. And if that sounds like something you want to do, and starting June 1st, these names I just showed up will be channel member names instead of Patreon names. So hopefully the Patreon people want to move over or move on to something else. Thank you, everyone that was on this list for all the years and years, or in Paragon Fuzz's sake, less than a month. Um, for all your support. I love you, Paragon. You're great. But yeah, that's it. So thanks so much for watching. I, and, and I say at the end, but I always mean it so much. And thank you very much for getting this far, if you got this far. Like, share, and subscribe. That does a lot for me. Uh, and if you do those little things in the algorithm. Uh, and I will absolutely see you later. I have some more clones to review next. And I've got Kiati Mundi on the way. And... The Destroyer Droid Droidica is coming soon as well. So I'm definitely going to have some more videos to make. But uh, this was a bit of a long one. Thank, thanks for putting up with it. Anyways, I'll, I'll see you later. Bye.